You ready? Yeah. Cheers. 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 Okay. First rodeo, boo. Okay. Um, what up, guys? Hello. Welcome back. Episode five. five. <laughs> I lost yeah, track I there for a second. Um, welcome back to Two Perfect Podcasts. My name is Easel. My name is Trends. And, and we're, we're not, not perfect. perfect. <laughs> Too Perfect is a podcast dedicated to three things. Uh, first, we are dedicated to sharing super personal stories and owning our imperfection. Second, we want to create a safe space where we could share our most authentic selves. And third, um, building a community for people who are like us, fed mm -hmm. up with the pressure to being perfect. And cheers to that. Woo! Whoa. <laughs> mm. So, what's up, dude? Uh, the ceiling. <laughs> Nothing wow. is up for me. Or life is up. Life is, life is up. up. Are you up? Just no, like you know, I'm always sleeping. <laughs> you know, I'm this never is awake. Fact. <laughs> Renz loves her freaking sleep. Dude. Do not wake me. Do not disturb Never. her when she she's is. sleeping. Um, so today's episode is a little bit different, just a tad bit different, um, because we are 100% unprepared. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> we're always perfect. Um, always prepared. We're unprepared. We're drinking. Like, I don't have any makeup on. I feel really self-conscious. <laughs> They're like, how is this different when it's all the time? <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. It's we're always prepared. They're like, no. wait, so <laughs> all the other times we're prepared. Um, ew. Just kidding. So bad. Um, no, it it's kind of prepared. So today's episode, we mm -hmm. wanted to talk about memories. Um, because <laughs> my memory is not the best. My memory's not great. You actually <laughs> said that in another episode that yeah. your memory is not too good and um we just want to talk about that i think it's a fun topic i think it's kind of interesting mm -hmm. that you know a lot especially as you grow older you have kind of like a very faulty memory and it's also very interesting to know what you do remember yeah because that's really like what shapes you as a person yeah mm -hmm. right and then okay now i'm getting all these thoughts <laughs> it's, it's like also tying back into um episode two we talked about like anxiety mm -hmm. mostly like social anxiety and if you are riddled with um anxiety you typically will uh have more negative thoughts yeah that's kind of like what your brain um focuses on and so when you have that it's like you kind of look back and, I don't know, sometimes most of your memories turn out to be, like, the negative ones because that's yeah. what, like, your brain is, like, latching onto, which is kind of interesting because, obviously, yeah. you can't just have bad memories. Like, you, yeah. you know? Like, you had a good life. There's, it's, there's good there's, and bad, but your brain do like to focus on that. And we often, like, forget the good times because yeah. we keep remembering mm -hmm. the things that made us feel anxious or put us in a funk or something yes exactly and you know what mm -hmm. I saw a little meme today and it was like um it was like this guy fuck I can't even describe it but he was like all of a sudden four years old <laughs> I gained consciousness yes he was in a restaurant or something i don't even like know four year old me just gains consciousness because okay what's your first memory like ever oh um it's hard to say um definitely when i'm like a child i feel like i made a joke about this uh-huh 
But I don't know whether if it was us podcasting or if it's just us talking. Yeah. But I remember I was just like, I just gained consciousness for some reason. <laughs> <All> <laughs> I was like four or five. Yeah. But it's hard to pinpoint. But I do remember like being like three or something, being young and just yeah. playing like the toys I liked and hanging out with my mom. Nothing too concrete, just like little details of like where so I So it was lived. playing with your mom? That's your first memory? Like I'm assuming because I'm like young. So it's like... Yeah. Times. My first memory mm-hmm. is actually me, three mm-hmm. years old, waking up <laughs> from like being knocked out in the bed yeah. and feeling horrendous because I have chicken pox Aww. and I was like scratching myself and like people are constantly coming up and checking on me like, no, don't scratch. And like, yeah, and I'm, like it's so itchy. That is my first memory ever. I think I was three yeah and got chicken pox like really early yeah I remember, be- I remember it being very hard to control the urge to not want to scratch myself yeah 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 oh, that's my first memory I don't remember getting the chicken pox no no but I think I did I just have like no memory of it you think you got the chicken pox yeah or you don't know if you got the chicken pox I feel like my mom has confirmed it to me because I've always like not remembered or not known yeah so I think I've asked my mom before and she Mm -hmm. says like yeah you've had it when you were young and I'm like Mm. okay it's either it wasn't that bad for me or like it was so bad that my brain like gone I would love for you guys to comment below what your first memory was. Was it, like, a terrible memory? Was it a fun memory? Like, clearly, Ren's had a nice memory. She's playing with her mom. I had her I mean, like, memory. I don't even know if that's a memory or something I made up. But I'm assuming that's what, okay. that's what I did. We have to talk about this next. <laughs> yeah. Fake memories. Mm-hmm. Fake memories. Do you truthfully, like... Because, obviously, fake memories, it's, like, a real thing. It's a real thing. It's yeah. a real thing you are People susceptible have been implanted yeah. yeah it's you are susceptible to having fake memories there's like studies yeah. done on it yeah um and so for me i don't think i have fake memories mm-hmm. but i feel like you do <laughs> I mean, I do. And honestly, there's a lot of like research on that too. That yeah. even when people are convinced that they're like, their memory is like 100% concrete on yeah. some events, yeah. it's just the brain is so suggestible. It, it's not, it's not that I'm super concrete in mm-hmm. my memories. Like, I don't, I don't, I know I have faulty memories. And I know when I, like, don't remember something, I'm like, no, I don't, I don't remember that. Like, I'm just going to be straight up. I don't know. Yeah. But I don't think I have implanted fake memories. Interesting. I think for me, too, what really confuses my reality sometimes, it's like... Drugs? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, you know, um, I smoked marijuana for like a really long time and that has definitely affected like my thought and I even remember when I was like early in college I remember the I remember just holding on to memories like I tried to be as I, like I was just holding on to all these memories and all these facts and all these like trivial things in my life mm-hmm. that I just remember thinking I'm like man why am I doing that it's such a waste of space so I was just like I'm just gonna let them all go what were you holding on to just like random memories just random like information just like remembering my day every day mm-hmm. so it would I don't know I just felt like I was always trying to relive like my childhood or like mm-hmm. my past my past just so I wouldn't forget them because there was a certain point that I stopped documenting them okay so I was just like okay I'm just gonna like remember it in my brain but then mm. eventually that got really tiring and that mm-hmm. got really exhausting and then plus I was smoking every day that, mm-hmm. to the point that I was just like you know what there's no point in mm-hmm. like holding on to this mm-hmm. I'm just gonna let it go so yeah. then I would also have very vivid dreams and I started documenting those dreams. So then they, when I stopped documenting the dreams, they started to like kind like, of mishmash. M- like kind of, um, uh, kind of meld or mold yeah. themselves together. Yeah. Like now, because you're writing down your dreams. Yeah. And then you're like, wait, so was that dream 
it seems so real because yeah. you're writing it down. So it's kind of like, was it a dream? Was it real? Exactly. So okay. that's kind of how it was for me. Okay. So that's why you have fake memories. Because yeah, I think so. I, Especially because my dreams are sometimes so, so like, they're so vivid. But yeah. not only is it vivid, it's yeah. also very like, what what's the ordinary like it's just me eating or it's just me doing like everyday things that I'm doing like sometimes I would dream about my project like I would continue working on a project in my dream Mm -hmm. so that's why it gets so interwoven all the time Mm -hmm. I feel like for me I don't know okay okay because like I very rarely remember my dreams Mm -hmm. rarely I don't really ever remember my dreams yeah like ever yeah um I know I have them but yeah it's like as soon as I wake up it's like poof it's like yeah. gone yeah but um that makes sense why you have so many not so many but I I it happens know more often. I know yeah. that you have fake memories because yeah. I feel like we've talked about something and I've been like that I had to throw that disclaimer you know I have to be like yeah, I'm not sure if that's real or not, but it's in my brain. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know <laughs> if I made that up. That's so funny. Yeah. Comment below if you have fake memories. Also, um, if you are knowledgeable, like, let me know if you know the science behind this. Because yes. um, I'm very curious. Also, when I say comment below, if you're listening to this on, like, a podcast pla- uh, platform, YouTube is where we're at. We actually haven't really been plugging our YouTube in the episodes. <laughs> like, go to YouTube, look up Too Perfect Podcasts. It's us. Um, and uh, that's where you should be commenting below. Or I guess you could email us to perfectpodcast at gmail.com. Um, so would you say that you have, like, more good memories or bad memories? Um... Is that even a fair question? I know, right? That's why I'm so stumped. I think that question is a day-to-day kind of thing. I think it really depends on my mental state at the moment. Because, like, again, that's what you're in charge of. But... (laughs) <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. um sorry lost my train of thought there for a second um I think when I was younger I tend to focus on just like the negatives because again I felt like I was depressed so my brain like really focused in on like the the, the negative hurt stuff. and the negative stuff mm-hmm. but like I, as I got older I started to practice just like remembering the good stuff too because it's like you know Mm. if you always look at it in that lens of like the negatives then that's all your life is ever gonna amount to and I made that conscious decision of just like thinking to myself like okay today is a bad day and I've had bad days but I also had good days so I will continue to have good days you know what I'm saying practicing gratefulness Mm -hmm. looking at the more positive side Mm -hmm. of things absolutely recommend it for anybody that is looking to change their mindset into yeah. more of a positive one yeah um I don't know how to answer that question either I don't even know why I asked it. I just <laughs> thought it was like interesting it's a good question it's a good question like it- do you have more good memories or bad memories um and yeah I guess it could change on the day-to-day sometimes you don't remember things sometimes you're more open to being grateful about your life so then like naturally a lot of more positive memories will come your way yeah um so I could totally see it in that lens as well um yeah good memories (laughs) (laughs) um let's see earliest memory of trying to be perfect I think we kind of talked about this episode one i believe yeah like we touched look at my fucking memory we were talking about (laughs) i know um i think we talked about like uh a cringy story it's like tell a cringy story of a time you were trying to be perfect yeah yeah, yeah. i remember it now but i think we can just kind of go off and think about like memories you have of like trying to be perfect Ooh, interesting. Because, okay, I guess I can start. Yeah, please. Because <laughs> I know you're thinking, I see the gears <laughs> fucking turning up in there. <laughs> so, for me, I, you said it actually in episode, 
Oh, that was episode one because you were like, mm-hmm. oh, you totally seem like a graceful person. Yeah. I definitely was conscious about how I was being perceived. And I always wanted to manipulate the yeah. way people looked at me, like the way whatever their opinion was going to be of mm-hmm. me. I wanted to have as much control of that as possible yeah so um and even like even as a child like I was thinking like that like oh I want them to see me in this way or this way or whatever and um let's see perfect I think um two stories come to mind it's not actually about being perfect the first one is more so about being like a good friend yeah so like I thought I held that of high importance of course um as a child this was back in the Philippines first grade and this girl came up to me and she said like this boy was making fun of her picking on her and I was a very shy quiet reserved child Mm -hmm. but I wanted to showcase to my good friend like oh, I have to show her that I actually can be a good friend to her. Yeah. So I went up to the boy and I kicked him in the stomach. <laughs> and, like, I just... And, like, it, it, it's, it's so uncharacteristic yeah. of me, especially in that time, because I was such a timid and reserved girl. So if, like, anybody were to say that, they'd be like, her? Like, are you sure? Like, she's so to herself. Like, why would she yeah. do that? But that was me making that decision to kick this little boy in the stomach because I was like, oh, I have to show my friend that, like, you know, (laughs) I have her back. Like, I'm a ride or die, you know? So that is one thing that I can think of. Yeah, that's so interesting how, like, that characteristic really, like, was, like was, like, prominent also in, like, your later years, you know? Whereas like, Now, you mean? No, not even now. Like, maybe more, like, in middle school and high school where you're, like, oh, my God. You know, you, you didn't really get in a lot of fights, but you would if your friend needed you to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's always that kind of logic where it's, like, there's violence in you, but you wouldn't really, like... There's violence in you. <laughs> you wouldn't really, like, use it for just unjust violence. I'm just... Like, I'm not gonna... <laughs> kick someone in the stomach yeah, for, no, for no, reason. no reason you know it's that chaotic energy it's the, yeah like okay actually I, love um, it. I wouldn't do that now I'm so anti-violence yeah. um if something were to happen I'm just gonna try to smooth out Mediate. the situation meeting mm-hmm. I have the communication skills now to yeah. help the situation instead of worsening the situation yeah. so that's always a good call I don't condone violence. That was first grade version of me, which is obviously <laughs> a child. So please don't think that I'm that way now because I try really hard not to be that way. Yeah. Um, but which is that's why it's always yeah. good to like reflect, you know, and this yeah. is like a sign of character growth. Because you were a child, you didn't understand what it meant to be a good friend other than that apparently. Apparently, <laughs> I literally kicked him in the stomach just out of nowhere. Like he was not yeah. expecting it. Like it was a sucker punch. I mean, kick. Yeah. But you know what? I'm thinking about it, and I think I think Sailor Moon had a lot of influence yeah. on this because it's justice. It's justice. Like I had to stick up for my friend. Comment below if you watch Sailor yeah. Moon. If you know, if you watch Sailor Moon, like you know, it's all about friendship and it's all about being there for oh your my girlfriend. God. It makes so much sense. <laughs> You know, so I was going to come through. I was going to come through for my girl. But I do apologize. Uh, I don't know the boy's name, but if you come (laughs) If you still remember that, it's so traumatized. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But you know what? You shouldn't have, um, you shouldn't have picked on my friend. She was like a tiny little girl. She was tiny. She was like this, one of the smallest ones in the class. And it's like, how are you going to pick on her? Like, she's like tiny, you know, like. (laughs) Let's go, I'll fight. Like, I don't know. Yeah. But Another common me. trait. Why are you gonna pick on her? Look at her, she's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you think of anything? Um I wasn't thinking because I was listening. Mm-hmm. But I just thought it was like really <laughs> cool, you know. Um, I think that's something that I wish I also had that consciousness of 
knowing that you can control certain aspects of like how people perceived you because when I was younger I was just so crippled by like the expression I'm (laughs) giving Mm -hmm. off and stuff like that and I thought it was totally like out of my hands like people will think whatever they want to think of me but you know I never realized like well they think of me as accumulation of everything that I put out there near them you know yeah so I thought that was super cool you know what? It's kind of a mm-hmm. dangerous thing because then you're not really living for yourself. For yourself. You're Ooh. constantly thinking about like, oh, how am I going to be perceived? And so every space you step into, you're anxious and you're thinking mm. about like, okay, how can I act? What can I say? Um, you know, and when you're doing that, you're not really in the moment. Yeah. You know? I wasn't in the moment either anyway. <laughs> I was no. so anxious. I Yeah, I think that's sort of what it is. I yeah. think it really depends. Everyone has their own, like, trauma. So it's like everything helps, but also something could also be, like, an agitator. You know? Mm. I think it's more like maybe just moderate. So yeah. it's like it is up to your control. So it is, like still what you're giving off but also at the same time don't ever let that be just the only deciding factor of like who you are yes yeah and how you live your life Mm -hmm. definitely definitely comment below if you can relate Mm -hmm. comment below if you can't relate Mm -hmm. and um yeah so did you think of a story now um when i don't know i hate I think I always just try to be perfect. So it's hard for me to think of one. On I have another spot. story. Go ahead. <laughs> it's you go with the stories. You know you love it. Before we recorded, we, we like started recording. We're like, oh, I don't really know if I'm in the mood. Like, it's always like that. I don't really know if I have it in me to talk today. And no, I have always have it in me to talk. Yeah. Um, I think it's the setting it's, up part that's really like dragging dra- there. It, and it, as soon as it, everything it is set up, we're like, you know what? We do this on the daily anyway. That's true. Yeah. Um, it's the pillow story. Yeah. The pillow story. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So I said in episode one that because um, we we're sharing like, you know, cringy stories of us trying to be perfect and failing at it. This kind of coincides with that. I loved dressing up. I still do, but especially as a kid, I wanted to be in gowns all the Mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And um, I did that. I would create my little outfit. Sometimes I would get like um, blankets and like wrap it around like you know very like goddess vibes yes I love those like uh greek uh goddess vibes like I would do that I would wrap it around like tie it around myself make it look all um cute uh at least to me I thought it was (laughs) (laughs) sometimes I would even wear like bathing suits as tops so like I would wear like I remember I had this pink one-piece bathing suit and I would wear like these shorts and yeah, so that was like my shirt. Like, I don't know. I was, and that's like at. This was in the Philippines, so yeah. that was like four, five, <laughs> six years old. I was just like this little like extra type yeah. of girl, and um, so I was constantly doing that. And then one day, I looked at the pillowcase and I was like, "Wow, that's so cute. The pattern is so pretty. It's really like." out to me today yeah um and it was one it's not a standard pillow it was like a tiny tiny little pillow um and I don't know if it was in episode four like with Micah's episode I don't remember but anyways because you know how we were on our bed and like you could see some of the pillows yeah I don't think we had it but uh anyways it's like a tiny mini pillow and I really liked the pillowcase, so I took it <laughs> out, and I decided to cut it up so that I could put my head through it. Yeah, and like a little, like, head hole. Head hole, hole and, like, two armholes so I could, like, put my arms through it and wear it as, like, a shirt. And <laughs> so I did that, and then I tried to put it on. I think I did get it on, but it was extremely tight because yeah. it was such a tiny pillowcase. <laughs> and it dawned on me, I was there, and I was like, hmm, someone's going to show up soon. Like, 
my tita, which means aunt in Tagalog, she's going to come home because mm-hmm. I think maybe my grandfather, um, who also lived uh, in that house, he was probably sleeping. And so that's why I was like doing stuff I wasn't supposed to be yeah. doing. And nobody was like really watching, watching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I um, realized like, okay, it's getting kind of late. I should probably take this off. And when I tried to take it off, it got stuck like right about here. If you're not watching the visual, it's like right around, right before my face. So like I was struggling to remove it. Um, off of my body and I started panicking because yeah. it started to kind of domino effect into that mindset of like, oh my God, I can't get it off. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God, my Tita's going to come home. She's going to find it. It's her pillowcase. Yeah. She's going to be so mad at me that I'm going to get in trouble. Like, I don't want to get in trouble. And um, I started crying. I started crying yeah, hysterically. It's too much. It's too much emotion. Yeah. It, and I, you're literally like balled up. I'm balled <laughs> up. I literally think I think I had been trying to get that pillowcase off of my body for a good like hour. Yeah. You know, it seemed like just freaking forever. And I was like, she's gonna come home. Oh my god, like what am I gonna do? And um I start crying, bawling my eyes out, and that seemed to make everything seem longer as well, because I'm just like fucking nonstop crying. Mm-hmm. And then um I'm so exhausted from the emotion. I'm so exhausted from the crying, the trying to take off the pillowcase. I fall asleep with my arms <laughs> over my face, trying to take off this pillowcase. And um I, I remember the feeling of being like, no, don't fall asleep. Like, you can't yeah. you can't let her come home and see you like this because yeah. you're going to be in so much trouble. Yeah. I remember feeling absolutely terrified. Yeah, it's um, that trauma. <laughs> it's the trauma. I was so scared. I didn't want her to be mad at me. And yeah. then I woke up, and I was in a regular shirt. And turns out she came home, she saw me, she's like, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> she took it off of me and put me in, like, a regular shirt. Yeah. And she didn't even say anything to me. I was the one who brought it up to her. I was like, Tito, are you mad at me? Like, I cut up the pillowcase. Like, yeah. She's like, no, it's whatever. Yeah, so, kids being kids. Yeah. What does that have to do with my memory of trying to be perfect? your definition of perfection is just like being yeah being like wow Mm -hmm. look at you so creative and you did that all on your (laughs) phone i don't know i'm making shit up here yeah 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. but that story did take me back so um the other day i was just going through like memory lane and i was looking at like just pictures random stuff not necessarily just old pictures like um I got tagged at like a uh, an old video from FIPA so I saw myself wow. there for a second and then yeah. I just thought of like that really like brought me back to like my fashion choices and it was just so cringy so I think that's similar for me that like um that wardrobe thing like brought back that memory yeah. in my head and I feel like like, in high school, I really tried to experiment on, like, my wardrobe. Mm-hmm. And I think I was going for, like, quirky vibes or something. Cause I don't know. Like, I remember <laughs> thinking, like, you know, we were a group of five girls. And I just always, like, felt, um, like, the ugliest of the bunch. <laughs> That's just how I felt. And I think, like, trying to be perfect, I, like, I was just like, oh, I could make quirky, like, my identity. So that way, like... I have something to offer, like, being in this group or something. <gasps> okay, what the fuck? I know, that was a lot to unpack because I never, like, said those words out loud. You guys, Renz has yeah. never said this to me. She's those talking about, like, mm-hmm. she's talking about the, like, the five of us. We were best friends in high school. Um, it was, like, our little clique. Yeah. I did not know <laughs> I you know. that. What the 
I think those were like real insecurities like back in high school and like I never try to voice out like my insecurities because that's admitting that you have them and that's admitting that you're not you're not perfect. perfect yeah so that's just like what really brought up to me so that's a memory that I have that like I that wow. like made me remember when I was young because like I would remember like always thinking like man like if I wasn't here would they even miss me I don't even know <gasps> No, not like necessarily like in that extreme, but I know I had those moments in my life and that's why it's like it's really what you make that moment. It's really it's, it's what, it what becomes. you make. Yeah. It's what you make of it. Your thoughts yeah. will become your reality. Yeah. That is... Obviously look at her reaction. Obviously it wasn't real. It was all in my head. That's so freaking crazy. So like how do you feel now? Um now it's like you know it's a little childish like sometimes I obviously still feel like the ugliest bunch but I think that mem- like I don't know why I just always felt ugly did people call you ugly pretty. in the past <sighs> that's interesting I don't know no. did someone come up to you and you're like you ugly U-G-L-Y, you ain't got no alibi, you ugly. Eh. I'm sorry. Sorry. Like, I'm sorry. What? I'm going to I'm I'm gonna tell my best friend she's going to kick you in the stomach. <laughs> Bro, did I? No, I yeah. honestly, no, I don't have any memory that, like, anyone outwardly, like, said, hey, you're ugly. Like, obviously, I've been bullied and stuff. But no one ever came for, like my appearance like that like they made fun of my like high water pants and like my outfit and my hair but never like my face so I don't know where like they made fun of everything else but they didn't call me ugly so (laughs) wait 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 okay so then I think it's safe to say that you just weren't your type yeah so you I think because you know what to be honest I I felt and sometimes I do feel mm. that way where I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm ugly. And so I realize, like, getting older, that it's like, okay, you're just not your type. Like, yeah. you have developed what your type is in your mind and what you consider to be beautiful. And for some reason, you don't include yourself in that group. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess it's always so hard because, like, you know. Um, That's what she said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> that's not, that was episode four. Um, <laughs> sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Uh, yeah, I, I totally see where, where you're coming from because, like, you know, I was always, like, I try not to always be... I try to be aware anyway because I know there's a lot of external factors like social media and, like what they're telling us what beauty is and I try not to let that be the definition for me but again there are those days where it's like I'm not thinking at all I'm not trying to be conscious Mm -hmm. so I feel it more heavily and I think that was very evident in my past because Mm -hmm. I didn't have like a true awakening you know I was just like I know I don't I shouldn't let the media control my thoughts Mm -hmm. but even that itself is not enough because I still felt ugly I still didn't feel like I'm pretty or not that I'm saying I'm pretty or I think that but now I try to not be as mean to me you know I just try not to say like oh you're ugly that's why I don't know wow we need to practice like affirmation Mm -hmm. you're so pretty oh you're so pretty oh my god you're making me blush (laughs) (laughs) um i think i'm getting red but i think it's more um, (laughs) maybe it's more of the fact that i don't know anyways uh, (laughs) you color corrected and post (laughs) bro i'm gonna put a fucking emoji because I just feel so hideous right now because I'm not wearing any like just put the like makeup. the dash ones it's not even the real emoji your little face like just the dash the fucking throw it oh back. yeah 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 I'll just type it in and then be like bro that's racist <laughs> um cancel sorry. them cancel sorry. them <laughs> sorry we're we're all over the place now yeah uh-huh. so anyway. apologize it's our podcast we, <laughs> we can do whatever the fuck we want Okay, I said I was going to stop cursing so much, um, so I'm going to stop. So, 
anyway, we didn't say that in the podcast. We said that to each other. To each other. <laughs> <laughs> now they know they're gonna hold me accountable. I know. Shoot! 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 I shoot. know. I know. They're gonna um, be like, take a shot every time she curses. Ooh. Dead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You took two shots. One shot. I don't know. I don't remember. Play it back and then two shots. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. I totally lost my train of thought. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. I'm gone. <laughs> we lost it. <laughs> welcome we back. obviously left. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> um, um, no, dude, don't apologize. I know, right? Another thing that you work on. Stop apologizing. Stop apologizing. To be apologizing. Stop apologizing. Those memes are funny, though, where you go, like, <laughs> trying so hard not to apologize. What's happening here? After they tell you not to apologize. I don't know. Because you ate, so you needed it. You're thirsty. Yeah, I know, but you're not. I know, right? Wow. It's because it's warm today, and I feel myself, like... Sweating, <laughs> sweating. honey. I am sweating. Like, people can see you just like, dude, did she just shower? <laughs> <laughs> More things to criticize me with. Bro. So I think that's the reason why I'm not drinking as much, because, like, the more alcoholic, yeah. the warmer it feels, so then I'm just, like... yeah. Need that pamay pie, which is <laughs> fan in Tagalog. You know, we gotta always <clears throat> sprinkle that a little, little bit educational, of, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, do it for the culture. So, anyways, memories, memories, memories. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we shared like funny, embarrassing, uh, kind of sad <laughs> <laughs> memories. Um, let's share good fucking memories, dude. Yes, yeah. I love good memories because <laughs> I have so, so much, so little. <laughs> um, let me. I will have to think about it. Good memories. Okay, so I remember. Uh-huh. My favorite story to tell. Okay, it's not. I'm just exaggerating because that's what I do. But I do <laughs> enjoy telling the story. Yeah. The very first day of freshman year Aww. in high school. Yeah. I um was early, of course. I made a friend. We were standing outside and then we sat next to each other. Cute. Uh, because I didn't know anybody going into high school it's a completely different school all my friends went to like the high school of the area but I moved out of the area anyways um so it's me and my new friend and literally our our, so our classroom was split (laughs) into like what's the term for that there's like an actual term for this but basically the middle pathway is completely clear in yeah. the classroom, and all the chairs are, like, bunched up on the sides. Yeah. So, there's, like, two sides in the classroom. I sat, honestly, it was segregated. Like, mm-hmm. I sat on the side where there were no Filipinos, and all yeah. the Filipinos sat on the opposite side. Yeah. And then I think, like... Our homeroom teacher, she passed around these index cards, and we were supposed to write, um, like, stuff about ourselves, like our favorite book, our favorite TV shows, movies, um, just, like, little things, and then everybody was going to take turns sharing their index card Mm -hmm. so that we can all kind of, like, get to know each other. An icebreaker is what you call it. (laughs) (laughs) I literally was, like, thinking about it. Um, and then Renz, I'm pretty sure she walked in like five minutes late. Yeah, you she know. She comes in, she takes her little index card, she sits on the side where all the Filipinos are. It's the only chair open. Oh, actually. really? Yeah. Yeah. And or I didn't, because it was like in the front. Yeah. So it's like the one I saw immediately. immediately. So yeah. I was just like, okay, well. she's already late, people. you know, <laughs> you don't want to like draw more attention to, you don't want to be walking around the classroom like, hmm, which seat, which seat, which seat. <laughs> Like, Let me try them all. Actually, fucking asshole. Uh, yeah, fucking sit. <laughs> mm, 
I don't like this one. I don't like this one. Sorry, Miss Apollo. You're going to have to stop talking because I have to find my seat. <laughs> you know, she will not have that. She will not have that. <laughs> um, uh-huh. So I noticed her immediately because <laughs> she's like, late. five minutes late. <laughs> Um, and she sits across the room with all the Filipinos and she, uh, fills out her little index cards. And I, I was like anticipating what she was going to say. I think I was already making kind of like judgments of like, hmm, I wonder what she's going to say. Maybe she'll say this. Maybe she has commonalities with me. I was already thinking things like that. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, it was your turn. And then you talked about how you like to draw. You're into anime. I'm pretty sure you said that. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he said that too. Yeah, and I was like, I like this girl. There's Mm -hmm. something about this girl that I just, I don't know what it is, but I want to hang out with her. I want to get to know her. And I think it was that green energy, you know, that green aura. We talked about it in episode three. Um, And it was just kind of like drawing me in. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just think it's a cute little story yeah or me same cute, cute me me cute. same i also had the exact cute same me thought. or me cute me cute me cute me cute, cute, cute me, me. <laughs> that's what we call it now cute me <laughs> i don't know i don't know yeah. what are words i also have that memory but for me i just remember uh again i was filled with anxiety because i was running late so i was just like oh my god oh my god everyone was gonna stare at me I'm the, old the one first country. day of school bruh how you show why were you late on the first I'm day of school i'm always late um i think this is when my dad still used to drop me off because i feel like he dropped me off for the first couple like beginnings of school um i think it's just us like getting ready as a family because again Mm-hmm. No one can wake me up. Although I always do get like that anxiety where I don't really sleep the day before because I'm Maybe like anxious of the up. first day of school. Yeah. <laughs> You're still fucking awake. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, oh, I remember you. walking in that room and then we did the whole icebreaker thing. And I remember you said like something so like, I don't even remember what you said, but I remember being thinking like, damn, she's so cool. I have to make yes! her my friend. <laughs> I okay. have- to make her my friend and then <laughs> she's never fucking told me that. I know she's never fucking but you also told never told me that until like the time we I don't know again faulty memory so my brain I'm pretty sure I tell everybody words of affirmation just like <laughs> yeah just gives me in one ear out the other everything yeah. I just noticed is just like hey you ugly bitch and no one said <laughs> that to her either yeah I know uh-huh. um but yeah, I remember thinking that, and then I remember thinking, I'm like, oh, I hope we have classes together. I don't think we had first period together, but I think we had second period together. So I was like, okay, I'm going to maneuver myself in a way that I could be like, hey, where are you hanging out? Mm-hmm, what are mm-hmm. you doing? <laughs> it was after Mr. Schwartz's computer yeah. class, which was total bullshit. Like, we didn't do a fucking <laughs> thing in that class. I'm cursing again. <laughs> I was gonna stop cursing. What the heck? We'll have a tally count. No, I'm just kidding. No one's gonna take do a that. shot. Take a shot. Um, no. So I was walking, and this was yeah. the time I was hanging out with like Tesha and them, and I was kind of like heading in that direction, and you kind of just like poofed. Like I was walking by myself, like no one was really next to me, and then all mm-hmm. of a sudden, runs just like comes up to my right side, just like where are you going? And I'm like, oh, um. Where are you going? And then yeah. that's, at least that's how I remember it. Or maybe that was fifth period and was in second period. I have No, we had, them. we had Schwartz in the middle of the day. I think yeah, it was no, maybe fourth that was period. Fourth period, actually. I'm sorry. Because yeah. I remember hanging out with Tesha for, okay, I remember it now. Because second period, I had health or whichever one that Mr. Hockey is taught. But no, it's life not health. Skills, life, life skills. Life skills, yeah. I have life skills mm-hmm. for second period. Mm-hmm. And I met Tesha there. Mm-hmm. And she was so warm. She was so beautiful. She it's was that like, pink energy. I know. She's got that pink I love energy. it. She yeah. just like... So uplifting, so yeah. warm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she just like, you know, she was just like, okay, we're friends now. And I'm like, yeah. So then for fourth period, that's when I maneuver. Because, like, I saw you again. I'm like, yeah. yes, she's in my classes again. I yeah. love that. I'm going to yeah. make her my friend. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. that's when we started hanging out. So, like, <laughs> anybody listening to this, comment below. Did you have that same mindset of, like, you know, you got to collect friends like Pokemon? <laughs> like Pokemon? 
or like were you more relaxed were you like um I don't know I'm just like what were you like yeah I'm just were you curious. normal and just welcoming friendship when they come and not making it happen <laughs> yeah well I think I don't know I think I'm trying to think of if I ever had any friendship that was just like natural in that way or did I always have to put in some sort of ever I don't freaking know that's a different episode <laughs> I know our friendship we're gonna dive yes. in and it's gonna turn into like a four hour episode <laughs> yes I'm gonna halt someday. myself we're gonna pin it pin it write it down put it in your notes put it on a post-it <laughs> put it on the fridge yeah. but those are like really good memories to me I like to think yeah. back like back in high school yeah when, you know just like the chances like oh we would accidentally be matching or we'd be like in the bus together and we'd never get up and we just don't go to school the amount of time we accidentally <laughs> match jesus fucking christ i just <laughs> oh, so cursing. oh it's my so god hard. that's what she said so um okay no hold on i just have to add that yeah. it's really funny that we were just talking about, like, oh, you latch onto your bad memories if you're anxious. <laughs> and I do know, like, there were a lot of bad shit that happened yeah. in, in my situation and, like, obviously everyone's situations um, in high school. But that's not what I think back at. Me too. I think back of, like, the happy memories. Maybe it's because we talk about the Yeah, the happy ones lot. often. So we, like, remember that the most. It's like, it gets perpetu- per- perpetuated. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, because like I was reading my diary from high school and mm. there was some just sad ass moments and I'm like yes. I already was like why are you so sad <laughs> I don't really? remember like yeah like obviously I remember writing it and I remember feeling that way mm-hmm. but I only remember it because I'm rereading it you were sad in high school we all were. I think we all were, yeah. You know, yeah. to uh, to an extent. Like, you know, I there's just, like, that pressure all the time. There's that anxiety all the time. There's always depression all the time. It wasn't, like, bad. It wasn't, like, it wasn't, like, uncontrollable depression. I think it was more just, like, something I felt every day. Like, life had no meaning. And there was just so much, like, stuff to do or mm. something. Mm-hmm, like, uh, mm-hmm. especially during the times where, like, I started struggling academically like that really like made me more depressed because again you mm-hmm. are equated to your grade especially in like an Asian household my parents didn't know how to like get through to me because I keep failing classes mm-hmm, where mm-hmm. it's like I'm not really doing it I don't know mm-hmm. so I think there was a lot of that but I also do not remember those memories that well because I only remember the good ones you know what um as you were saying that I could say and Mm -hmm. I of course I fall into this trap as well but I think more so for you you really fall into that trap of feeling like your value and your worth Mm -hmm. is is uh determined by um your productivity yes Yes, And definitely. because in high school, like, all you're doing is really, like, you're going to school, you're supposed to get good grades, like, that's what is expected yeah. of you, and your grades started to dip, and so with that, you started to feel like you weren't a value, because, exactly. yeah, yeah, you know, you're not doing your job, so to speak, but you are valuable if you're listening to this mm-hmm. and you're going through that you're valuable you're important regardless of your grades or regardless of your productivity oh. and it just stopped no what happened cheers back from our bathroom break mm. cheers to you too viewer if you are lo- watching us on youtube um so you just experienced a weird cut because Mm -hmm. technical difficulties we had to take a little bathroom break go to the little girls room Mm -hmm. um that's kind of a weird thing little girls room nobody says little boys room do they i don't know anyways very rarely i feel like it's it could be a thing but i've never heard it because it's like i feel like a girl always says that yeah you know so (laughs) yeah it'd be weird for a girl to be like i'm gonna go in the little boys room (laughs) Check yourself. How old are you? Anyway. Um, 
Okay, so... You want to finish your sentence first? Yes. So, yeah. I was saying... Um, I don't remember where it got cut off, but I think I was discussing how, like, Ren's... I know I do, too, but I know for sure Ren's mm-hmm. is probably way more often than I do. Nowadays, mm-hmm. uh, you kind of fall into this trap of, like, your value and your worthiness is tied to how productive you are and especially like with what you were saying in high school your grades started to dip and so because of that it's just kind of dampening the your self-worth yeah you start to believe that you are less worthy but that is not true so what I was saying was like if you're listening to this regardless of your grades regardless of your productivity or whatever is happening you are worthy you're worth it. You're valuable. You're amazing. You are perfect. And you deserve to be here. It's, you know, you're meant to be here. So that's all the positive messaging I can provide. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No more. No more. Just, Just kidding. kidding. <laughs> Jinx. It's that yellow yellow energy. So yeah, um, but yeah, you were saying? Um yeah, uh, basically during break, I started to think about just like middle school because like, honestly, what really, I feel like when I was in high school, I really remembered middle school to be a very depressing moment in my life. It yeah. was very sad. Yeah. Um, And I, I think that just sort of like really contributed to a lot of my depression yeah. uh, at the time. But honestly, like me now I struggle even remembering like the bad parts of middle school because again no I'm not reminding myself of the bad Mm -hmm, times mm -hmm. I don't hang out with a lot of I don't really hang out with anyone from middle school anymore so no one's really remembering no one's like reminding me of those moments like recalling the memories exactly so it just really shows how like powerful what you hold on to you know yeah because now I was just like I like obviously I know that I felt disconnected and I felt like people were 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 toxic around me and I was also part of that toxicity and middle school is toxic okay baby it's it's it so is toxic. toxic we are horrible in middle school yeah cuz we're just kind of learning to be more compassionate cuz like kids are sociopaths like they don't have the capacity to be you know to not. look up look at it not from their perspective yes. it's always from that lens so it's like for me yeah. it was always like just oh my life sucks you know blah 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 blah. that's how I thought about it in middle school yeah so that's what it was but now it's like you know it and it was also funny because Jamie like she's a middle school friend that I have yeah she reached out to me yeah. like two weeks ago or something and she was just sending me like old photos that we had Uh, and it like really brought back like good times from middle school so mm. I I love that wow I um I'm trying to think of if I have that experience where it's like if I was you know if I struggled to remember like the really down periods of my life and you know what Mm -hmm. Kind of. I I struggle to remember some things um, because actually I was talking to Stephen and Mm -hmm. for some reason I don't remember what we're talking about history because I enjoy learning about history. Yeah. And I started thinking back to like when did that when did that happen for you like when did you enjoy yeah and I started thinking about like okay elementary school third grade fourth grade fifth grade I can remember all of my teachers and then I got to eighth grade Mm -hmm. and I started thinking and I was struggling so bad I could remember all of my history teachers names Mm -hmm. except eighth grade it took me so long I was like what what was my history teacher's name like did I enjoy that class yeah like is that why I liked history? But obviously, if I don't remember his name, then... But, mm, no, probably. It, it, it's not him yeah. it, that made me, you know, enjoy the topic or the subject. So I was, like, really struggling. Um, but you know what? Eighth grade was a really down time for me. And it kind of correlates with that. Yeah, eighth grade was... Ba- I was down bad in eighth mm-hmm. grade. Yeah. And so that 
is probably why I struggle to remember. It's your brain probably like protecting you from your most traumatic like yeah thing. Because also I was like, as I was saying that middle school stuff, I was just like, like it's hard for me now to say what's my most traumatic moment in my life because honestly, like a part of me always just like let's like it just tries to let go of trauma as much as possible. Mm-hmm. That to me, I I just I don't like even. You know how I have a phobia and part of Mm. me like trying to get out of that phobia is like, I I, I always reflect, it's like, what started that? Mm -hmm. Um, I have a theory, but Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. We could probably discuss it in in future episodes if you guys Mm -hmm. are interested Mm -hmm. and if you guys want to know what my phobia is, but please never use it against me because I'm scared just sharing that piece of information. (laughs) I remember learning about this. I was yeah. highly fascinated. This was in yeah. like high school when yeah. I learned about your phobia. Yeah. And I remember being on the phone. It was like yeah. probably midnight because we didn't start talking on the phone until like 9 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Was Those free. were the rules back in that, the day. Back in the day <laughs> in, you know, prehistoric times, <laughs> you had to wait till 9 p.m. for your yeah. phone calls to be free. Otherwise, you're using your minutes and then like everybody would Costs be mad. A lot of money. Yeah. yeah. So, whereas now it's like unlimited calls, you call whenever you want. Call anywhere. me whenever you want. Yeah. So privileged. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember we would stay up all night on the phone um, because we were just like obsessed with each other. And then mm-hmm. I remember. Yeah. You were getting tired, which was yeah. good because <laughs> I got more. Were down. I got yeah. more information, yeah. and I just kept asking and asking and asking, like, okay, well, what was happening then, and like, why are you scared of that, and like, what triggered that, and what do you think it could be? And you're just, I remember you being like, mm, well, I think maybe it's like this, yeah. and I was like, oh, dude, and I remember like piecing it together, and yeah. you're like, oh, I know what it is. It represents this, and that's what. <laughs> I remember, dude, I thought it was, like, a freaking, you know. I'm a, I just bust something. Dude, I gotta write a paper. I gotta tell the world. I, I'm i still like that. Yeah, like, of course. My mind automatically tries to go into, like, what's the solution or, like, what's the reason and, like, what's the why. I just can't help it. And so... I remember doing that to you a lot and being like, well, why do you think that way? And, like, what what is that about? Um, and as you can see, nothing's changed. So <laughs> that's still kind of, like, yeah. the dynamic. Yeah. But uh, that's interesting. Right? Middle school. Comment below if you had a good middle school experience. Yes. I'm not going to lie, though. I did have a lot of fun in middle school. Yeah, same. I did have a lot of fun. Even eighth grade yes. was fun. I think that's a helicopter yeah. flying by. Again. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're in LA. You already know. <laughs> it gets a lot up in the, here. It you know, crazy. we always feature the helicopter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we add that on, actually. I know. Did it didn't even pass He's on <laughs> featuring helicopter. <laughs> oh, yeah. We added that audio. It's not a too perfect episode. We're actually without... not from LA. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We, just, <laughs> we just put that in there to make it appear like we are because we didn't know what to say so we're like oh let's add a helicopter right there There we'll just randomly point out a helicopter and we'll put it in just to kind of (laughs) like ease ease the pressure but um yeah any other any other thoughts memories you want to share I felt like I had something to say because you were like you know you were saying a sentence it was about to end and I was like oh I'm gonna say this after and then the helicopter came and we're like back at it again it's gone back at it again. okay actually do you have a memory I just thought of a question yeah do you have a memory that you feel like is so true it's like this actually happened but other people truly are like Renz no like that didn't happen it's not it like it's not it you can't mm. remember <laughs> yeah it's like if that's the thing I think I'm also like the type of person that like because like I know I have a faulty memory that if I feel like oh I remember something and then they say like oh that's not how it is and I'm be like <laughs> <laughs> they must be right <laughs> I know. So uh, my instincts is not usually like no <laughs> No, I know for a fact that's real. Okay. Stop gaslighting me. So to me, it's hard for me to remember that essence because again, I'm just like, 
oh, may, let me revisit that. Actually, I wish I like I would go through like files and stuff in my brain to be yeah. like, uh, am I right? Are they right? And yeah. then I just let it go because again, I, I don't want to. I don't know. I personally don't. Sometimes Do life is not about being right or wrong. Exactly. Me, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. At least if there is, I don't remember it. Me too. Faulty memory. <laughs> That's why me were. Comment below if you have that though. If you have like something mm-hmm. with your friend where they are like, no, it didn't happen that way, but you're like, yes, it did. This is how it happened in my mind. Yeah. And there's like that constant argument. Yeah. I wish we. Do you and Jackie have something like that? Oh, yeah. With me and Jackie, it happens more often because his memory is faultier. And again, it's like, I'm sorry, Jackie, I love you. (laughs) I think he knows this too. So, wait, who's, who's got a faultier memory? You or Jackie? I think it's Jackie, but, you know, that's debatable, I guess. Um, I think, Jackie, comment below. (laughs) Let us know. Yeah, right. He doesn't even know the videos are up. I'm not kidding. He really doesn't know that the videos are up. I don't know how to share that with him because I don't know how to share this with the world. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but as I was saying, it happens a lot. Like Jackie called me out on it because I would firmly, like, it's not even like, memories mm-hmm. no actually it's memories too but the last <laughs> thing that I remember we argued upon was like uh just the way that the street is laid out and I told him like no the street is not laid out like that and the he was street like, yeah what because street? it's just a street like we have to enter the freeway and then I told him the freeway that he, like you know this is the street that we always like <laughs> pass by all the time <laughs> And I told him, okay, well, like, the entrance to the freeway is always after the bridge. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just how I remember it. Mm -hmm. And then, whatever, he says, not all the streets are like that for all of them, blah, 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 it doesn't matter. But, basically, I wasn't, like, I wasn't letting it out. I'm I'm just, like, saying, like, "Mm, no, I'm pretty sure that most of these streets are all laid out the same. Yeah. And then he genuinely believes that it doesn't. So then he called me out by saying, like, uh... Like, I come off as, what's the word? Um, not conceited. Um, condescending. Condescending, mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. He called me condescending, so that's something I'm working on because I just always believe, like, you know, again, it's on me. I believe that I have a better memory than him, so when he says something, I automatically discount it. So I'm sorry, Jackie. I will work on it. Oh! It's, if you ever see this video, I will. I'm working on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Three years later, he finally sees it. He's like, hmm, I'm gonna use this against her. I know. <laughs> did I stop? If you are watching this three years from now, did I stop? I hope I did. I'm trying to grow. Comment below, Rens. But all Rens, also- watch this video. And come <laughs> three years. Future Rens. I hope I remember three years from now to rewatch this and comment below because you know she's, that. Well, I will not. <laughs> she's not. She's not gonna rewatch this. Um, that's funny. I don't know yeah. if I have really anything like that per se because I think it's kind of like. With you of being like, okay, that's how you remember it? Hmm, I guess I'm wrong. I think I automatically want to think that I'm wrong. Yeah, For the most too. part. Depending, depends. Actually, <laughs> yeah. You know what? Yeah, it actually, you know what? You bring that up with, like, Jackie because you believe Jackie has a faultier memory than you. Yeah. You automatically feel comfortable discounting him and being like, actually, Jackie, it's going to happen that way. I feel that way with you. Yeah. So... It, it really only will happen with Renz, but, like, anybody else, it doesn't really happen. Yeah. Because I know Renz has, like, a really faulty memory. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So, you're, again, it, like, it's all about just, like, being... I think it's always that way. It's always about, like, what lens you see it as, you know? Yeah. I saw Jackie as it has been faultier memory, and that's not always true because Jackie has amazing memory. He just chooses to spend that on other things and I choose to spend it on other things and that's always everyone so yeah you I don't know if you have a choice I mean some people have a choice of being like yeah I'm gonna remember this piece of information this information I'm Mm -hmm. not I kind of can feel 
It's a skill. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I feel like I can kind of delete stuff out of my memory bank yeah. and be like, I don't need this. Delete. Yeah. Um, if you know, like, the scientific process for that, comment below. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I Take think a shot I every time I say that. Right? Every below. time we ask that. Every yeah. time we tell you to do it. Yeah. Um, but there is research, research, research. <laughs> there's research, 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 there's research, research, there's research, 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 <laughs> what, I'm oh, sorry, um, there's research, like, you know, when you go to sleep, your brain, like, chooses, on, like, you know, memories that are not valuable to you to make way for future space, so, mm. it's interesting, I wonder why, like, what makes the brain decide, oh, this is a valuable piece of information, I'm gonna, Make I'm you gonna keep it. this, mm-hmm. yeah, and then this piece of information. Uh, <laughs> it's like that. Everybody's birthday, you know. <laughs> not important. Delete that information. Mm-mm. Um, I don't know. Also, it has to do with like your ability to store that piece of information in other things. Yes, it's like okay, I know I'm gonna store this in my phone, so it's like my yes. brain knows like. I don't need to memorize. You memorize. don't need to hold on to this. Yeah, because you because could just put it on my back. phone. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Um, memories, fun stuff. The brain is so fascinating yeah. and interesting. Yeah, I want to know how, like, if you have a way to help you remember stuff. Mm-hmm. What are your methods? Because there's definitely like different ways to go about it like for me I realized like if I write something down I am more likely to remember it because I'm a very visual person so I can remember seeing it as I'm writing it Mm. so I would remember it that way Mm -hmm. and I'm just curious how how you guys do it and like what are your tactics yeah because yeah I mean especially as you age yes your brain is deteriorating like that's what it is so what are like, if you know any tactics to help exercise your ability to memorize things, comment below. Take another <laughs> shot. Um, Aren't you drunk now? I want to know. I hope so. <laughs> Welcome to the club, baby. You're late. <laughs> That's why our brains are deteriorating faster, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not juice in that cup. It's water. It's, it's also juice. <laughs> It's also juice. <laughs> it's water with food coloring. <laughs> I'm going to beep you out so they just hear me. Is there a jump? Pew! <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, Okay, so that's pretty much it for this episode. We just wanted to have some fun, drink a little drink, um, and talk about memories. Go down memory lane mm-hmm. and hear about your experiences and your memories so don't forget to comment below and as always you can find us on every streaming platform uh we're on youtube if we haven't said that twenty thousand times this episode already (laughs) just in case you didn't know just in case you didn't know find us on youtube follow like turn on your notifications so you get it immediately like a little cute reminder of when our episodes are released our yeah. episodes are released every tuesday 12 a.m um so yeah turn on your notifications we are on every streaming platform i think i said that already but we're also on social media so follow us there too yes. subscribe like comment connect whatever yes, please whatever wherever whenever whoever <laughs> however um, we want to talk to you. We want to talk to you. We want to learn. Yeah. And we want to connect. So that's pretty much all we have for this episode. Mm-hmm. And stay tuned. The next episode is going to be a ton of fun, as it always is. But I hope. Um, <laughs> I know. I hope you're having it's fun. It's fun for me. We're having fun. <laughs> Clearly, look at the laughter. The just look random at the joy. Um, <laughs> Good times. Good memories. <laughs> We're making these memories here. So, um, yeah, guys. See you next Tuesday. And um, keep having fun. Keep loving yourself. And have a good day. Bye. Bye.